Hi foodies, I'm back again today with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a curry style jollof rice made from a curry sauce blend and an incredible spice mix that takes the flavor of this dish to a whole new level. <laughs> Hey foodies, welcome to our holiday series edition. Oh, a Christmas tree. Now what's a holiday series without a Christmas tree, right? Thank you Winnie, Mwah, I love it. <laughs> All right guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a very mouth-watering dish that you can use to impress your family and loved ones this, this holiday season. It's pretty simple to make and it's nothing like you have seen before. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell just right beside you so you can get instantly notified whenever we upload. And I'm definitely sure that you're gonna like this video after watching it. So don't forget to give it a thumbs up, okay? All right guys, let's get right into this cooking action. You want to begin the cooking process by making the flavorful curry blend that will serve as the base for this recipe. In your blender, add some coconut milk, chopped tomatoes, some chopped chili red bell peppers, also known as tatashi, some scotch bonnet peppers, also known as atarodo, some garlic cloves, and of course, some chopped onions. You would also add some turmeric powder, some ground nutmeg, some cumin powder, thyme, ground pepper, curry powder, and ginger powder. I know guys, <laughs> it looks like a lot of spices, but trust me on this one, okay? Blend till all of the ingredients are perfectly combined and formed into a very creamy puree. Then we move over to the stove top. Now begin by heating up some vegetable oil in a pot placed on medium heat and then add some chopped onions and minced garlic and saute for about 20 seconds. Next add some tomato paste, mash it to mix it up with the hot oil and fry for about 4-5 to five minutes. Now guys, this is one of the flavor building stages of this recipe, so you want to be really patient and do this very well. Afterwards, pour the creamy curry blend in the pot, stir to combine and proceed to season with some ground pepper, some chicken bouillon cubes and some salt. You don't need much seasoning at this point because most of the seasonings were added to the curry blend. Stir to combine thoroughly, then add the washed rice into the pot. Stir again, ensuring that every rice grain is coated with the sauce. I washed my rice about five to six times to remove extra starch. Yes, I'm that extra. <laughs> Next, add some chicken stock into the pot to help cook the rice through. Now, if you don't have stock, water works well too, but I find that stock helps intensify the flavor of the dish, okay? so. I'd advise that you use some stock instead of water. Give it a good stir to combine, ensuring that the rice is fully submerged in the liquid. Then add some bay leaves and cover the pot with aluminum foil before placing the lid on top of it. The foil will help trap the steam inside the pot, which will cook the rice through evenly without adding more water. Now leave this to cook on low heat for about 35 minutes or until rice is tender. While the rice is cooking, you can chop up some of your favorite vegetables to add a pop of color to your rice dish. In my case, I'm using red and green bell peppers, some spring onions and some red onions. Add all the vegetables into the pot and stir thoroughly to combine. I like the extra flavor the veggies add to the dish and of course the extra crunch. This step is one you mustn't miss because it complements the beautiful color of this curry rice dish. Ah oh guys, the aroma of this dish is the bomb.com.ng and it definitely already smells like Christmas in here. <laughs> So this is how I've been making my rice recipe for about three or four or five weeks now. And I tell you, this is the recipe I'm sticking with for as long as possible until maybe I get tired of it and develop a brand new one. You definitely want to try out this recipe. I'm giving it one final stir. Ha, oh, looks good and it smells amazingly awesome as well. And of course, we're going to go right into the taste. I already have my plate here. Cochlery. I'll just take a spoon of this. Now you can enjoy this with any sauce of your choice, you can enjoy it with any protein of your choice, you can enjoy it with even some salad, whatever, just go wild, okay? I like the fact that it's really, really moist and the color, the color, it actually looks 
looks like jollof rice, but it has this yellowish feel that makes it look like curry rice. It smells really nice, guys. It smells so nice. Blow, blow, blow. Mm. The moistness is on a whole new level. Definitely tastes super good, you guys. I told you I've been making this for the past four or five weeks now, so and I use the same recipe all the time. <laughs> okay, last spoon. <laughs> I'm back to reality. Everyone is smiling behind the scene. <laughs> I'm sure they can't wait to have a taste of this yummy dish. Look at her smile. So gorgeous. All right, guys, if you'll be recreating this recipe for your family and friends this holiday season, please kindly send me your pictures on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I always love to see your recreations. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll see you next time with another beautiful, mouth-watering, delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another, love yourselves generously, and Merry Christmas in advance. Take care, guys!